What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Obviously, you guys know we're going to be spending most of today's video on, and that is on the massive and incredibly uh, large breakout that has taken place over XRP with the Ripple news that we saw yesterday with the SEC lawsuit, with the positive and bullish news that we got. Lots of things to go over. Most likely going to be a long video today but lots of important things we need to discuss. I want to hear your opinions down in the comment section below. I appreciate all those who commented on yesterday's emergency video, but I'd like you guys to continue that thread uh, in today's episode. So make sure to drop your comments down below what you think about this market, what's going on. Will we continue to pump? Should you sell off and take your profits right now with an XRP? What's going on? Let's talk about it down in the comments below. With that being said, though, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Let's jump right into today's episode. Super quick, guys, before we dive into the technical analysis, I got an emergency update from BidFi. They messaged me to let you guys know that in light of the crazy situation with the XRP Ripple lawsuit and winning the SEC verdict here, that they are doing another bonus giveaway, which is super cool. Make sure to jump on this. Ride the XRP wave today. Maximize your XRP potential with their exclusive event. Deposit and contact them for a 100 USDT perpetual bonus. All you have to do, like I said, is make a deposit. I believe it's 50 or 100 bucks. Doesn't matter. Just make sure to message them even if you deposit something and they'll give you the exact rules. But I believe that's all you have to do. Super, super simple. Then literally click the bottom right corner and message them. Let them know that you want the deposit bonus, the perpetual bonus. You saw it on Crypto TV and you will be good to go. Um, but with that being said, uh, let's get right back into the technical analysis. So right off the bat, I mean, literally typing in Ripple News, it's absolutely insane what is going on right now. You can see here, there's a lot of interesting rulings happening right now or, or articles dropping. We had the original one, Judge Rules XRP is not a security. Then we get crypto Twitter misinterpreting everything in the SEC Ripple case. Bitcoin jumps as traders cheer Ripple SEC ruling. Ripple ruling threatens SEC's crypto regulation. Ripple, Ripple token surges almost 100% after partial victory. Ripple Labs notches landmark win in SEC case. XRP tops Bitcoin on up it with 2.6 billion of trading volume in 24 hours. So yeah, it's incredible. It's insane. There's lots of information. I'm going to spend most of today's video talking about the technical analysis and how we can profit off this run. Not so much the uh, the in-depth technicals about the actual case itself. I mean, most of this is pretty much covered here. We talked about it in yesterday's episode, and it's pretty much going to be the same thing today. Now, some people saying they didn't win the case, but they won a portion of it, which was the big primary part of declaring uh, XRP sales to not actually be a security. That's the main point. They're saying the case is still ongoing, but with that out of the way, it's pretty much a wrap from here so we know what exactly is going on. Now, yesterday we made a video. You can see we had a few, and it's pretty crazy how dead smack on we were about the markets here. So going back, let's say two to three days ago, you can see I said, this is it. We're getting ready for the break. And that was on a different crypto. We have here Ethereum's pattern here, and I know when the breakout will happen here, and it was very soon. Then you can see in yesterday's video in the morning, we were tracking the continued descending flag here on Ethereum, or sorry, on XRP, my apologies, filling in the gap here, decision time, a decision had to be made. We're getting real close to seeing that break. And then just two hours later, I made the video and you could see we exploded. I mean, it was perfect. These are descending flags. This is exactly what we've been tracking here. And I think you guys have a, a couple funny comments that I want to show you too, that you that you left here. But I just want to show you what a descending flag looks like and how perfect it is to what we pretty much had. Or maybe it's a pennant flag. Let me call it that. And we might get a better a better look here. Here we go. Here's the pennant flag formation here. So this is identical to what the pennant flag kind of looks like here. It's a bull flag pattern. This is it, where we have a beautiful run, the flag pole, here's the flag, and then the breakout. It's very easy. It's obvious. It's it's like, I don't know how much more times we have to go over what these kind of pennant flag, uh, these pennant flags look like here. I want to give you a bullish look. Uh, you can see this is kind of it. This would be a little bit better to interpret. So you have the actual pole itself. You can see that. Let me just draw that in here. So you have the pole itself right here. This is the run up. You have the flag itself right here and then the breakout to the upside here it's simple here's another beautiful look what are bull flags and bear flags and how to trade them so this is a beautiful representation i actually really like the binance futures chart here but this is the flagpole 
the flag itself, and the breakout to the upside. You cannot tell me that that is not exactly what we're looking at here. Exactly to a T what we're looking at on the charts here. Just yesterday in the morning, we had the actual flag pull, the flag itself, and then we were looking for the continued breakout. And here it is clear as day, perfectly drawn on the XRP chart, which is absolutely incredible. So now swinging us into here, you can see, I mean, granted, this was so much higher than anybody could have thought here slightly. I'll show you what I mean by that, but it definitely pumped us way higher than I had anticipated, but that's good because we bought in and capitalized off these runs here. We got in a little bit late, a little bit higher up. We got in at about, I got in about 50 five cents here a little bit higher once I made that video right before I made that video I bought in and since then we've pretty much doubled our investment here since we're trading at like around 90 cents we're trading at 94 cents currently I believe here no 81 cents I apologize but we are still labeled lock in a ton of profits here we moved that stop loss up we can either sell off the trade buy back in at a higher point and just keep grabbing more and more and more profit which I know a lot of you guys did but you can see here we had a beautiful rally here we've been talking about this day in and day out every single day and I don't want to keep repeating myself so you can watch yesterday's video uh, the videos two days ago but just yesterday but we've been talking consistently how history is repeating itself dead on here. There's nothing more, nothing less that we need to draw. What is going on here? I'm trying to draw an XRP line and nothing's happening. What the heck is this? What? Let's save this chart and refresh it. Maybe we'll get a better look because it's not working out the way it's supposed to here. There we go. Okay, so now we have a better look. So these are what I was trying to draw in, which wasn't working for a second here. But you can see we had beautiful descending flags pulled on here. And I'll tell you how we could still profit off these rallies here. So you can see, for the most part, this is the three pattern uh, bull flag formations that we've been tracking consistently here. The first one was clear as day. We had the flag pull, which I'm drawing right now. Here was the actual flag to the downside here. We filled in the gap. Once we confirmed the break right here, a couple of days went by. We had a massive uh, blast to the upside here. Then we started to see a second confirmation. Here's the second bull flag. Here's the flag pull. Here's the actual flag itself. A couple days consolidation blasted to the upside. And here's the third one, clear as day. We had another flag pull. Here's the consolidation, the flag itself. Here we confirmed the breakout. We exploded to the upside. We tweaked the charts ever so slightly. But not only that, we were filling in the gaps here. We clearly drew a blue uptrend as of yesterday. You can watch yesterday's video. You can see we had the green, uh, the blue uptrend drawn clear as day as to what we were tracking here. We had a beautiful downtrend in blue here, filling in the gap, as well as the descending fractals in yellow here. You can see we were getting constricted. And I said in yesterday's video, literally, could this be it? XRP has run out of room. That was literally two hours before the breakout. XRP has run out of room. We could see it clearly drawn here. Then flash forward, look at what XRP does. We filled in the gap here. As I said before, this is what we needed to kind of fill in. We had no more room to go in any direction. We need, or we had no more room to trade sideways. We needed a dancer to break up. And you can see that is exactly what happened here. We have a downtrend in blue. We have a downtrend in yellow. A price ceiling in green. We have moving averages acting as resistance. We have an uptrend in blue. We have a uh, a price floor in, in green here. So everything was getting sandwiched right into here and a decision had to be made. And we clearly made that decision much quicker than I had anticipated, but we did make that decision here. We exploded to the upside, exploded to the upside so quick, so fast, so abrupt here. When I finally caught wind of everything that was happening here, I threw in at 54, 55 cents here and created that stop loss a little bit lower just in case we decided to dip lower. And since then, we've exploded up and I've been managing to take profits and opening new trades, entering the markets here. Everybody was up updated on Patreon super early. We've now swung all the way to the upside. We actually peaked and hit top resistance, which is incredible here, but you have to consider we are extremely overbought, but there is still room to capitalize off the downtrend, but you can see where exactly we hit. I did not, you can see in my other videos that this was a, uh, a resistance that's been drawn and I did not add this line ever and you can see that's exactly where we peaked and then started to plateau and correct back to the downside here you can see why this is a bit of resistance because we've had problems in this zone before so by no means was it surprising in any way that we're retesting it and bouncing off of it and rejecting and correcting here so the fact is we're starting to hit it and we're starting to reject downwards here regardless we've had trades open and we still have trades open just in case so the cool thing about movements like this is, is we're more than likely not going to 
I mean, it's possible we could do that. It's fine. But we're more than likely not going to continue to spiral up. And we're probably not going to consolidate here off, or off of a massive drop. We're either going to continue to drop back down, regain support, and head back up over the good news, or just continue to you know, free send it to the upside here. The one thing you have to consider is we are extremely overbought, extremely, extremely, extremely overbought. We were at 88 on the relative strength indicator, now pulling down to about 82. You can see we're already starting to get that dip. It's just a major run and people are now trying to sell off here. So that's exactly what we're starting to experience. So the correction to the downside is necessary here. We do get stopped out. We did get stopped out. I did get stopped out, but you can put in positions to short as we start to correct lower here. You can put stop losses in if you have already um, to capitalize off runs if we do decide to, uh, to drop here. But typically, like a basketball, when you slam it and it explodes to the upside, we always come back down and we start to see smaller drops called the ripple effect. That's how I believe it, coincidentally. Um, no pun intended here. But now that we're starting to see the dip, it's very easy to capitalize off these runs by getting in with some profitable trades and the opportunity now to potentially short this when it does decide to dip to the downside. Obviously, we can do that on BidFi, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. I've been preparing you guys for moments like this literally for months now in regards to be, being able to trade XRP, which is so much different than any other exchange. BidFi offers XRP to trade around on, which makes it so unique. The fact that BidFi offers XRP, unlike other exchanges, is another reason. There's a good chance that we're going to start to see XRP being added to other exchanges as we move forward. But for the time being, BidFi has always had XRP to trade around with, and they've been reliable ever since like 2019 when they first opened up, 2019-2020 here. So not only can you buy long, sell short, trade, create stop losses, take profits, everything you can possibly think of is currently offered on BidFi. And the fact that they offer XRP, which is where we literally were just trading on, is perfect and why you guys should sign up completely free down in the description below. Not only can you do that, you can test your skills using a demo account if you're not comfortable with your crypto. They give you 100 grand of monopoly money to test your skills completely free, get familiar with the platform, and then you can obviously switch to the live account and capitalize off the leverage trading that they offer. Leverage trade, long, short, stop losses, take profits. It's an incredible website. I highly recommend you check them out here. You can even see they offer welcome rewards bonuses of up to $2,888 completely free by filling out the New Year's Day tasks and the advanced tasks here. And I have another bonus for you guys, which I forgot to mention, and I'll throw it in earlier on today's video. You can see here, let me pull it up. BidFi told me about a new promotion that they're doing besides the $2,888 in light of the events that just happened with an XRP. Not only can you do these advanced tasks and gain free bonuses. You can see here, $700 bonus, $1,500 bonus, so on and so forth here. But they've even allowed, they just told me this morning, you can see right here, ride the XRP wave today. Maximize your XRP potential with their exclusive event. Deposit and contact them for a $100 USGT perpetual bonus, which is sick, super cool. Make sure to check it out. Link is down in the description. You can easily contact them by email or by clicking in the bottom right corner. My face is currently blocking it. There's a little yellow message center and you can say either Crypto TV said that there's a perpetual bonus that's offered when you deposit 100 bucks so on and so forth here. Whatever you want to do, you can just message them or email them, contact them and give them their information. But you can click that message thing here. It pops up and you can see where you can enter information and talk to them and get your free $100 USDT deposit bonus here. So super cool. Make sure to ride the wave. Make sure to check that out. But moving forward from that, looking at other cryptos, looking at XRP, which I know is the biggest one here. But not only was XRP affected, we even have Ethereum, which exploded to the upside here. Coincidence or not, this was an easy run to capitalize on. I'm still shocked that we exploded this quickly here. You can see these charts aren't even working too, so I have to refresh it, which is annoying. Let's refresh this. Hopefully, yeah, now we're going to have to load Ethereum again. Uh, let's pull that back up. Ethereum on Coinbase. You can see, yep, beautifully put. We continued the rally to the upside here. Perfect example of what we've been calling here. I can literally pull up my video from days ago here. From this day, this is literally prior to the rally here, and I can pull up the Ethereum chart where I spoke about what, where we expect to see Ethereum pump 
you know, explode to. You can see right here, and you can see I'm going to draw in exactly where I anticipate to see the rally to. Once we confirm breaking through this sideways channel here, which we drew in green, that would allow us to break to the upside here with a price target. You can see that, and a price target to break us through and rally us up right there to the top resistance, retesting the ascending fractal, the price ceiling up there, and that is exactly what Ethereum did clear as day here, continuing its pattern here. We discussed this also because it was having a bull flag from we had a beautiful flag pull. Here's the actual flag itself within an Elliott impulse wave. And we expected that once we confirmed the breakout here, this was the opportunity to see the rally to the upside. And that is exactly what is happening here. From the price breakout right here, we are now up a lot almost 10.5% here, continuing the rally. We then noticed an ascending fractal. We called the bottom right here. And as you can see, we're filling out the gap and moving up nicely here. It was tough because I've been super conservative with trading on these cryptos because the bottom is right here. We said once we confirm closure above this resistance, that's the opportunity to buy in. With the massive volume we had, we literally cleared it in a day, which is insane here. So the only way you really could have uh, capitalized off this was either trading on like the short term or putting in, um, you know, a, a limit order that would clear and fill you in once we confirmed breaking that, which is risky, but it is an option. It's just something to consider, but huge gains across the board. The main focus was on XRP, but clearly Ethereum was another opportunity to capitalize on. We're now looking and focusing on um, Bitcoin to see us what, what exactly is going to be happening here. You can see with Bitcoin, we're starting to trade sideways here, filling in the gap. And again, oh my God, nothing wants to load here. So let's refresh this. Refresh the page, pull Bitcoin back up. Thank you. Let's load this in. And you can see we're filling out the gap here. We slightly confirmed a breakout above here, retesting over, but, but it's still insane. I'd honestly slightly tweak this up a little bit higher and say we didn't confirm breakout just yet. Uh, but you can see we need this to fill in before we can get any sort of decision. The sideways consolidation is going to end. We need to see if we're going to confirm a breach above price ceiling or above the price floor to enter for a long or a short. Uh, it's a little worrisome because we're nearing overbought, so there's not much more room to head to the upside anyway. And I also believe we're going to see XRP you know, drop, which would be an opportunity to short it on BidFi here. Still insane across the board, though. Keep your eyes peeled on the markets here. The S&P just just continuing to soar to the upside again, not expecting this to head up even higher. I'm very shocked we're now hitting all-time highs. Nothing wants to load as usual. Let's pull this back up. And you can see, not nah, didn't even SPX to TBC. Here we go. You can see the major pump that we saw yesterday, shockingly heading us up even higher here. Now retesting overbought again. As incredible as it is, we need to come back down. We need to pull back down. We are too overextended too quickly. It's not healthy. We're now nearing overbought yet again here. Granted, in the past, we have hung out here, but it's just not good. We need to correct back down. That's my opinion here, but we still are seeing some pretty incredible movements here, but I do think a pullback is necessary. But with that being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.